I guess we can start. I, well, don't I guess seem we'll just, too excited. I guess about we'll just it. do this podcast now. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> Technically, Doug's. Or was it? No, it was yours. My, that's yeah. Cameron's. It was that's your Cameron's. idea. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. giving him any of the credit. Welcome to the Wild Cast. Welcome to the Wild Cast, where Studio 76 does a podcast. I know it's short, but it's got a last. So sit down and enjoy your other well, uh Welcome to the Wild Cast, everybody. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a new place because my old place is full of equipment. You are like that. Looks like the exact same place. Yeah, it looks like the same wall, but like just the same the wall, same, same curtain. It's like, literally same, a different just, room. It looks like it's just a different area of the same room. Yeah. Do you have like matching curtains across your whole house? Uh, no. Well, I don't have curtains in the it other. Looks one. The same. It looks I the same. Have curtains in the other one, I just have. <laughs> uh, well, I you? okay. Then I've seen you in front of that window before. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Okay. Come take a walk with me. Okay. Oh, this is an interactive experience. Ooh. See, here, here is the old one, and it's full of equipment, and there's no curtains. And there's the curtains right there. At the top, the. <laughs> Looks the same. It's like same. When you style. said when you said new place, I assumed that you meant like. New oh, like house a new or something. Oh. Yeah, it's just oh. a different room. Yeah, that's what I meant, but. <laughs> But hey, yeah. in, in, in these days, that is that is uh, news. I'm in a different room now. <laughs> I mean, at least you have curtains. I, I still have the bed sheet because I haven't bought my curtains yet. Ooh. Oh. You haven't got the James Spader curtains? No, I haven't. I, I am interested in what that means. Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, last time you talked about it, um, I keyframed out your, um, or I keyed out your curtains and put uh -huh. a James Spader as your curtains. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, uh, uh, Cameron Jackson. I guess you didn't notice. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, it's the whole thing. <laughs> I did like uh, Doctor Strange, James Spader, and then um, Neo. Oh man. I think I did Cameron. Rami Malek too. Okay, what? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to do your job for you, but you have yet to introduce any of us. I know. <laughs> That's why I have Logan here. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, hey, we have Elena, <laughs> or, or my screen's smeared. We have Elena. No, it is this way. Elena, and then we have Collins down beneath me. Is that yeah. correct to no, you, Cameron? No, that's not. No, it's not? Elena they're, is, they're in the Elena vicinity. is below you, and Collins is diagonal. Okay. They're, they're right there. there the go. Brady Bunch they're configuration there. is different depending on <laughs> who's watching. Yeah. But they're there, well, sure. Elena, you've never been on the podcast before. Uh, so what is your role in studio? Technically, I'm supposed to be in the editing team. But we're not really doing nothing, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. We just haven't started it yet. It, we don't do anything during the summer, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, y most people don't do most anything people. during yeah. the summer. Most people. We're just overachievers. <laughs> Our jobs, my, at least my job, has remained pretty much the same. I just I'm actually doing, to brag about it. I am doing less than I usually do, which is nice. Hmm. I'm so glad you chose that background, Collins. Thank you. Because I just nice. watched that movie. I need to. I need to watch it uh, today for the for the. Podcast you haven't watched tomorrow. it yet? Nope. Oh boy. But yeah. you, I'm, you've seen it a lot though already. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, we have to, to watch fresh. it again, though. It needs to yeah. be fresh for the other the other podcast. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm not I'm not gonna uh, promote my own IP on a different show. So, <laughs> I think you've done it already, though. You've done yeah, it. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it many times. <laughs> um, what I know that you had a list of stuff that you wanted to talk about, Collins. Did we ever get through that yeah. list? I don't Your know. Blacklist. Uh, I, I believe you gotta think of something, or we're going straight to speed race. I do, I do have something. Um, the I, I know that the uh, the critically acclaimed uh, Clone Wars corner segment uh, is sorely missed because Clone Wars ended. So yeah, I, 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 I have a still have all those animations on my 
computer. <laughs> Shoot. We, well, we need to have a new one. Um, okay. uh, I am going to be transitioning Clone Wars Corner into a General Collins Corner to just the overall uh, unique and mostly terrible media that I've been consuming in quarantine. Um, I guess um, it's uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. edition now uh, since okay. that came back. Cool. Um, I haven't seen it yeah. in the ones, but... I never saw well, Agents of Shield. The thing, the thing about Agents of Shield season eight or whatever it is, it is the final season. I didn't know it premiered until yesterday when an episode had already been out for almost a week, because I was so miffed with the entirety of last season that I was not at all excited for this season. But um, basically, they're doing like what Legends of Tomorrow did in season one of that. Um, they're they, they have to time travel to the past to stop other time travelers from making S.H.I.E.L.D. never exist, which completely ignores the time travel rules from Endgame, but... Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a mess. It's a mess, but... Um, Was it directed by the Russo brothers? No. That's Whoa, the thing. That would is that a comment like on the mess. Russo brothers? Wow! Some of his strong opinions. That is an interesting take. Hot takes from Cameron. Well, well they, they mean, directed both Infinity War and Endgame, and, Endgame. and, and they're Winter both Soldier. garbage, so... Whoa! I agree. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right! Maybe I have the unpopular opinion. I like them. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I like them, too, but I, I, I always am, am interested in these dissenting opinions. I was, well, like, it screaming is... in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It is weird that they, they took these two directors and are like, you know what? That Arrested Development thing you did was pretty good. Uh, how, how do you want to do uh, the biggest movie of all time? <laughs> Let's make that your next thing. So they went straight from TV to big to, $200 to million dollar Winter, movies. Yeah, to Winter Soldier. Yeah, and all Gosh really, dang. It's nuts. Um, the rest of the development is good, though. Basically, what's been happening Mostly. with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. since I don't know. the beginning Mostly. is, like, it was billed as, you know, this. it takes place between all of the movies and it ties into the movies and stuff. And it did that for about the first two seasons. Then... Um, the movie people kept saying, stop crossing over. We're not going to tell you anything that's going to happen. You're just going to have to deal with it. So they started doing their own stuff. And it was good for a while. But, and then Marvel's like, hey, we're doing you know, Infinity War. It's the biggest crossover ever. Like, you should do a crossover with that. And they, they did a lead up to Infinity War. And the last episode of season six takes place during Infinity War. And then they just didn't tell the showrunners of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. what happens in Endgame. I'm like, wow. Oh. <laughs> so they're like, okay, we did that. Like, we, we crossed over with Infinity War. What should we do next? Uh, no, we don't want to get any, anything spoiled, so we're just not going to tell you what happens. So season seven is completely ignores Endgame, takes place a year after Infinity War, but they don't know what happened in Infinity War. And it sucked. Oh, and my And this gosh. season, they just time traveled so they could ignore the continuity altogether. But then they use different time travel rules, which is also frustrating. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to watch This is why it. you don't do crossovers. Yeah, unless you're, like, it. really dedicated to keeping two timelines. Yeah. Um, so you'll see shows, like, ones that bugs me are when they use um, crossovers. And the crossovers, they do it with certain actors. But then they reuse the actors later as characters on their own show. That bugs me. I hate that. You mean like the a... big show? The what big you mean? show from WWE? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I... It's a weird segue. Um, I was on Netflix a little while ago, and he has his own TV show. It's called The Big Show. Hate to break to uh, who are you talking? Does about? anybody? <laughs> Nobody cares about the Big Show. It's fine. He's a WWE wrestler. He he's like, not that big. He was. Oh, you're talking about his deal. name's the Big Show. I'm sorry. Yeah, his name's the Big Show. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pull up a picture of him and show you guys. You <laughs> have to WWE. at least see him. <laughs> I can't believe you guys haven't heard of the Big Show. I I don't. Watch fake you're ta wrestling. You're talking about you're talking about the wrestler, the Big Show. Yeah, I know yeah. who that is. He's uh, the big. Show. He's the big he's, show. He's, yeah, that, he's, he's that. I can think of him in my head, but I don't know anything about him. Hold on, I gotta get a good picture of him. Here we go. That's a good picture. While you're looking that up, I have another another Collins Corner, real quick. 
Oh. Uh, recently, this last week, I watched. Um, it came, and it's another Disney Plus nonsense. The the Maleficent sequel came out on Disney oh, Plus. Oh no! Um, what do you think? I'm still processing. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like, I enjoyed it. It's e- it's mm-hmm. either I enjoyed it or I absolutely despise it, and I'm not Ooh. sure yet. Like it, it was entertaining to watch, but. The, the way my sister described it was the lore building was exhausting because they're they're like you know all the all the stuff that w- is just you didn't care about in the first movie we're going to explain in detail like yeah. what maleficent species is where they come from there's a bunch of them now um mm. and why her cheekbones are as sharp as blades they don't explain that well yeah, they do everybody has them <laughs> apparently maleficent is like the reincarnation of some ancient phoenix god yeah. Um, what? I don't. Um, it. Uh, Work Davis is in it. Uh, he's great. Um, they recast uh, the prince because Brendan Thwaites was doing Titans on DC Universe. Um, yeah, it was an exhausting movie. It that was all right. Weird. I honestly um, didn't know that that happened. That they recast. Um, I, I just remember watching the first Maleficent. I was like, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah it, wasn't- but it sounds like they ruined it. It's got a very similar plot to the first one of right. just human doesn't like all the magic people, so they try and try. Oh, like Shrek. Them. Yeah, like Shrek. Or um, if you're a fan of old westerns, Broken Arrow. It's basically the same plot as that. Um, mm. Only no I Shrek. Think I've seen that. Yeah. I'm a class- I I'm wouldn't a recommend guy. it. It's got a lot of brown face in it. Ooh. Because they couldn't get Native American actors. Or they didn't just they didn't, use Mexican didn't. people like they did in all the other westerns. No, it was all brown face. Hmm. Um. Don't yeah. About that. Uh, anyway, that's, let's that's, let's look at the big show. Let's look at the big show. Yeah. Okay, this is the big show, guys. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. now I immediately know what you're talking about. Was he was he the wrestler that was in the uh, hit horror movie Santa's Slay, or is that a different wrestler? I think oh, hit is overstating it a little bit. What? I don't. It's think not I good. It. Hold on, let's see. Santa. Oh no, go back. Um, I Santa's just watched Slay. Ooh, that's slate. This is my Santa's typing, slate. guys. Yeah, that's not right. The movie. Are you the boss? I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, no, Nor- it's S. Nor- it's Nor- it's, it's, it's S L. It's S L A Y. Yeah, that's not. Oh, is that the big show? I don't think that's the big show. It's somebody else. Bill Goldberg. I just. How do you oh, know like no, no, all no, these no. obscure a, movies, uh, Collins? Yeah, no, like what? The, uh, this um, ain't on Disney Plus. I know it. I'm getting this off my screen. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, um, Fran Dreschner dies in the opening scene. Yeah. Sure, that Fran guy. Dreschner, that guy. Yeah. Mm. No, that it's the woman. Um, yeah, that woman. Who is? Well, I don't know what his wrestling name is. Anyway. Um, who he might not Bill Goldberg. I don't think he has a wrestling name. He was all he's also in Gold Dust. Death. Is it Gold um, Dust? No, it's The Rock Johnson. The Rock, I mean, the Rock Johnson. Um, Goldberg WWE. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've he he doesn't have a wrestling name. Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's just Bill Goldberg. He's just Goldberg. Yeah, WWE uh, but yeah, he was in Santa's. He was in Santa's sleigh. It's uh, like uh, John the, Cena. Uh, the uh, the reality show mm. Knife or Death, which is like a contest. Did you just say Knife or Death? Like Knife or Death. Sound, those sound like yes. terrible options. Um, what it is is you want to get stabbed by a knife or death. <laughs> um, you'll have people who have like made their own swords or knives or bought their bought swords off of Amazon have to go through a gauntlet with their weapon of like chopping an ice block, you're chopping a rope. And stuff. It's a real oh. dumb show. And it sounds like um it, it sounded like the like you have to make your own knife and they have to survive in the arena it, with it. And that was a little shocking to me. Just like Hunger Games, but you have to make your own weapons. Yeah. 
And they're like, I mean, we you don't you even. There was, there was a guy in the first There's one, one who iron literally ingot. bought it off of eBay. <laughs> it's uh, dumb. Yeah, I'll um, bet. I just watched uh, the first episode of Space Force last night. Honestly, I'm really bad at this. I How is it? it again. The most that I can explain it, like, the best way to capture it is like, oh, this isn't a show where it's like you're laughing a lot. It's just a show where things happen. Okay. It was boring. I got bored. I got bored. <laughs> they, uh, a lot of the, like, they rushed through it so fast that a lot of the stuff that they could take an episode on and actually, like, expand into it and maybe actually throw some real funny parts in, they rush it and nothing's oh. funny and mm, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's not funny. And it's kind of disappointing because I was really looking forward to it. There's a lot of shows like that. They're like, oh, this one thing is funny, so the whole I mean, show it has is funny. Steve Carell, John Malkovich, Ben Schwartz, and they did nothing so far. I mean, That's a bummer. I'm I'm only one episode in. I'm not a big fan of Steve Carell, so. Really? Yeah, I don't think he's that funny. Oh, uh, I think he's funny. But keep in mind when like when the office in the office, it's not Steve Carell making up those lines. True. It, yeah. That's true. I guess, yeah. Most of it was. If he's given a good script, he can deliver it. Yeah. In a funny way. And like when he improvs, he's funny. Yeah. I haven't so. seen him do improv. Oh, just just watch him like on night shows and stuff like that. Oh, okay. That's the majority of it. He's a funny guy. It's just they he doesn't get how much to work with. However, this one I think he helped he co-wrote. So. Oh. This one wasn't good. <laughs> with Greg Daniels, the Office dude. Who? Greg Daniels. Yeah, he helped write The Office and Parks and Rec. I think he also worked on Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh wow! Okay, that's a pretty oh, resume. Yeah, no, the same he... people. Sorry, the same people no, did Parks that? and Rec, B Nine Nine, and The Good Place. Mm-hmm. And and he's writing a upload for Amazon. Oh yeah, that show. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't want to disparage the reputation of Robbie Amell, but when I saw the trailer for Upload, it immediately gave me the vibes of every other recent show that Robbie Amell has been in that have um, gotten one season and then it canceled. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't heard think like it's his it, fault. <laughs> yeah. And I heard but, the Upload started strong, but it's. The, well, that's the thing. The season finale shows, was just so all disappointing. All of these shows start strong. Yeah, they start like strong, and then it's like, oh, okay. Tomorrow People and uh, whatever else he's been in. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. In. <laughs> well, I think Tomorrow People actually got two seasons, though. Ooh. Yeah, they were lucky enough to get a second It was one. in The Duff. I don't know what that is. The Duff. Oh, the, uh, yeah. I remember that movie. That was a weird that the, movie. Isn't that the beer that uh he was in no, series of he was in series of it's like, events it's a beer isn't it in a cartoon duff. i guess what it means is it like duff means dumb ugly fat friend and it's just the person that they have along that they don't actually oh, like I yeah like, oh yeah. like bfg the big, yeah, friend big friendly giant. giant yes that movie was <laughs> not good <laughs> wasn't <laughs> The, either, it, they, either, they either marketed it as that. the big <laughs> I guess. the one from the one from Doom, the big effing gun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's great! You get to shoot a hole through Mars. I just thought it was like a, it was do you do that a in terrible Doom? marketing. Yeah, campaign. in Doom Eternal, you take a giant version of the BFG that's on a space station, and you shoot a hole through Mars. Dang! To get to the center of Mars. So you can go kill weird. Satan? Kind of. Oh. Like Satan lives on Mars. Or that one that like that one demon that just keep, keeps reincarnating. Yeah, the the icon of sin. Yeah, that, <laughs> you 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 kill that. Is, is that where Satan lives? Is on Mars? Um, you have no idea what we're talking about, do you, Elena? There's, uh, no, well, there's a bunch of Mars. there's a portal That's to fair. hell on Mars, and there's a portal Obviously. to like some heaven dimension. It's so red. I mean. Wait, but the there's people, heaven in Doom? I thought it was just hell. Well, there's also like a kind of heaven, like, oh, okay. kind of like how the hell isn't like the Christian hell. It's just like a, a dimension hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a similar heaven thing, but they're also evil. 
Um, what? <laughs> okay, so this sounds like a really depressing reality. And they're this... and they're using they're using the demons to transfer humans into energy. They they take soul they 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 turn human souls into like super electricity. It's it's uh, the that's the like some doom. matrix bull crap. They're like, oh yeah, yeah people and have we all energy hate the matrix, them. right, Collins? <laughs> never seen it. Oh right, you never seen saw the matrix. matrix. No, I haven't. I need to. Oh. You, you keep saying about how you're such a big fan of the Wachowskis brothers. I'm a fan of their work, yeah. <gasps> hey, Which you know, one? I've seen all Matrix. Of Speed Racer. Speed Racer. That's it. Yeah, you can't, you can't <laughs> say you like Jupiter Ascending because... I've seen my... When I was a kid, uh, my my older, my half-brother, he showed me the uh, the one like Kung Fu scene from the Matrix. That's, that's the that's, one where he's uh, like I know kung fu thing. The yeah, one where, where, he, just... where, he, where he where where Morpheus fights Neo. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought you meant yeah. the part where he like stops looking and he's like still blocking and stuff. No, no, I didn't see that scene. Oh, that was a sick scene. I'll put it on my list. Okay. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Just watch the first one though. Don't watch the other two. It's not worth it. Um, well, let's I... just make another podcast where we watch popular shows. <laughs> you don't get you don't. Are, they're you on don't other get streaming me services. A... You don't get me onto a franchise and expect me to just watch one. Like, oh, mm. all right. Well, I'll watch the Animatrix. If be I prepared. Be prepared to take heavy notes if you watch the other two Matrixes. Sure. Otherwise, you will be lost. Because <laughs> the architect just mm. goes on and on and on. I'm like, am I am I listening to a lecture? Where's my notes? <laughs> mm. Um. Do you guys want to do uh, what's wrong with this picture? Yes, oh, I would love to. Okay. Are so, you going to show me a picture of my grandma? Yes, I'm going to show you a picture of your grandma. What's wrong with Logan's grandma? Uh, so you haven't done this before, Elena, so I'll explain the rules. Uh, so essentially, I'm about to show everybody a picture, and then you read my mind and tell me what's wrong with it. And then I tell you why you're wrong. Okay. Sorry, that was so many rules. Can you repeat that? <laughs> All right, this is the picture. Why are you What's wrong with this picture? Um, let me get my mouse off it. This is. Let me see if I can find who. Yeah, this was a uh, uh, a drawing done by uh, Michelle Marconi. Just to give credit where it's due. Yeah. That's uh, pretty good stuff. Big fan of the podcast, I hear. <laughs> yeah. So what's wrong with it? Um, the roof on the bottom right corner. It looks all janky what look at that look at the roof it goes down sharp up and over like what is that oh, supposed to thing? be yeah what's that supposed to be yeah i don't know that is weird yep see i beat it's you like at your own game window box yeah but like, like if you get rain or snow in there at all like that's gonna crash why does this picture have to be so 2d i can't tell is there something is... actually wrong with the picture, or? Well, well it's within like I ask myself this the boundaries. Every having time. having uh, on my spare time watched multiple uh, roller coaster documentaries, um, this roller coaster would not work. Yes, that is correct. This yes, roller coaster uh, sucks. The, the the car, uh, the train is too long to accommodate. Particularly that first dip would not work. Oh, that's fine. They all just smash into each other. Well, yeah, also smash into the each physics other. It's called the sandwich. The physics yeah. wouldn't work of this. This first hill here, hold on, is nowhere near as high as this first hill. You can't, you can't go down and then go back up even higher. That's not how physics works. Plus, you have to go up two hills. Even if it's powered. Yeah. The, I mean, the assumption would have to be is that there, there is a chain on this second hill there, and if yeah. there is, then. What's the point of that? That's bad roller coaster design. I mean, I understand fun. that, like, with friction and, like, if it's moving off a big hill with no other power to it, then it couldn't get as high. But if it actually had power to it that adds a secondary force, I could still push it up to the top. Oh, you're saying it's constantly pushing it. Yeah, I mean, it could still constantly push it. I guess. And because we don't it's know. It's on a moving track. Yeah. 
Oh. Like, oh, no, that's... very, very easily on that second hill, it could be another one of the things where, like, latches on and it has, like, the tracks, like, that move like a tractor and, like, bring it up well, at the top and drop see, it again. You I can't don't... do that because you're going too fast, though, because the, the car wouldn't be able to hook onto the tracks if it was going that fast because it's going straight down this hill and then it'd have to latch on. Mm. I don't know. I don't claim to know physics. I just... <laughs> I, I think the bigger issue is the roof. <laughs> yeah, also it's in the park. The, the, this whole like series of houses in is yeah. in the park. That's fine. Separated by like four trees. There's houses in Disneyland. The more I look at this picture, the oh. more things I see wrong. Is that a tiny skyscraper over there or just a really small building? Right here? <laughs> Maybe it's an apartment building. Why are the it's trees so tall? <laughs> Those are very tall trees. Yeah. Like the okay, look at that. The trees get like is the trees seem to get taller and taller as you move further away. Mm, the buildings yeah. get smaller and smaller. Well anyway, that oh. was uh what's wrong with this picture? Thanks Our for crap. My, my notifications on. I do this every time. Yeah, and then I cut to you every time. You do? Mm hmm. My shame. I feel like you don't watch these videos. I do, though. <laughs> I just don't notice that you actually cut to me. Oh. Well, I, I put like I one videos. frame of Collins photoshopped as C3PO, and he mm -hmm. found that and then used it as his profile picture. It is a gift, and I am thankful for it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I really Merry genuinely Christmas. thought people would miss it when they watched it, but I don't know how it. I got it. I don't know <laughs> how I caught it. Proud of you. Very Thank proud. You. Anyway, I've completely lost track of the time here. The time? Oh, yeah, I feel like we're over. Yeah, Just we time. probably are. Even yeah. keep track <laughs> of time. No. Who shows this anyway? <laughs> well, I, I kept track about halfway through. I have a really hard time keeping track of these when we're doing it over Zoom because it's just like we start the meeting before we even start actually recording. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to go. I want to. I want to let us back up to people. There is no concept of time on Zoom. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's just I a, wish like when you recorded, it would tell you gushing. I forgot to clock out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we probably should end it's here. It's got interrupted by crime. Um, well, what? you time yeah. stuff. Yeah, time thief. Hey, I'll I'll, I'll submit a form submission. Uh, I, 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 what? A uh, time correction form. Oh, okay. I'll submit. All the words got in there, but they did not come out in the right order. Last time I did that in studio, B was just like, it's fine. You didn't go over hours. And I was like, oh, right? Okay, sure. <laughs> just leave it then. I'll, I'll just clock in for everything I get. <laughs> All yeah, right, well, I'm getting paid for it. Well, I guess we're out of time. I'm not sure if this ends up being way too short. I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming on, Elena. I know thanks. this is a confusing episode. We talked about Doom way too much. What the heck? That's okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> uh, well, you know what to do. Like, do comment, they? subscribe, and then make fun of us in the oh. comments while I leave it off screen. Make fun of Speed Racer. If you have questions for the podcast, um, put it in the comments because I don't put it in the comments. I don't do anything. What else. is the what's the what's the email that we have for you guys? Uh, like, I don't have an email. Podcast podcast at gmail dot com. Try that. Um, try it. Try that. I don't have it. But Maybe we'll do it. create one in our sleep, hey, well, but we have well, no what's idea the, what's that the email, it exists. What's the email for the anchor account then? Huh? Oh, you do have it. You made the Gmail account. That's right. Yeah, we do have a Gmail account. Um, we'll put it in the description. We'll and listen to an advice show. All right. Uh, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Now that you watch the one cast, you go home and reclaim all the time that's passed. Thanks for watching, everybody.